So we're gonna jump right into a hot water of neon pink. And we all know for bright colors, it's best to start with a 613 base. And the trick to having that natural sheen on colored hair is to coat it with crystal clear. So we're going to add the crystal clear thoroughly throughout the hair and some people, for stretch it a little further, will add it directly to the conditioner. So I basically emptied the entire bottle and allowed it to simmer for over an hour. And this is how it will look when it's fully coated, very glossy, very shiny and now it's ready to rinse. So we're going to use our heat protectant before styling and all the products will be linked in the description box below. I did go in and give it a blonde cut because we're going to flip this baby. We're going to section off the back and I do realize that the base of the wig was still a bit damp. So I went in with my hot comb to straighten the roots. Then I went in with my babbly straightener and yes, this is also linked in the description box. So if you don't know already, now you're going to know that when straightening hair, it's best to lead it with a fine tooth comb. I'm just going to go over it to ensure that the base isn't still damp. And if you notice, as I lead towards the end of the hair, I gently twist my wrist to get that flip effect. So we're going to continue the same motion throughout the rest of the wig until we get to the top of the wig. And I did give this unit a side part swoop. I didn't show that part because we're focusing on the flip. But I will add the products that I did use to mold the front of the hair, which is the chrome styling hair foam. And seal the flip with the Tresemme holding spray. 